Aloha, zoology students. Welcome to week four of quarter three. We have one more week after this, and then we're done with quarter three and also mid year grades. And then we have one quarter left of school. So this is kind of the final push. So just a reminder to, you know, stay um, up to date with all of your assignments, check in daily, and don't get behind because. Um, if you get behind now, it's going to be really hard to get caught up because we don't have any three-day weekends or any breaks or anything like that from here to the end of school. So we've got about a month and a half left. So just, you know, a little bit of motivation every day. Just chip away at your kuleana. Um, so let's talk about what we're doing this week. I gave the students in class... Um, Friday to watch a documentary because they had a senior little luncheon thing so you know half of the kids in class weren't here um so I changed the due date for their quiz they're going to do their quiz on Philo Malaska on Monday so I gave you guys the extension as well there you know about half of you distance learners had already done it um I did mark it as missing if you didn't turn it in over the weekend on Friday or over the weekend so um you know, if you don't get it in by Monday, then I'll start taking points off for it being late. Okay, so that's just incentive to make sure you're logging in first thing Monday morning um, or sometime on Monday and checking what your kuleana is so you don't get any points deducted. And just a reminder, that late policy, um, if something's due on one day and you turn it in the next day, that is 10% off. And if it's two days late, you get 20% off. And so on and so on and until it's five days or more late, then you get 50% off of the grade that you received on it. Okay, so if you got a 10 out of 10, but you turn it in a week late, you're only going to get five out of 10. So just wanted to make sure that that's on your radar. Um, hopefully that's motivating you to, you know, stay on it, stay consistent. I'm totally fine if you guys want to log in Monday and do all the work for the week. That's totally fine with me. Just don't do the opposite way, log in Friday and then do all of your past work because then you're getting points taken off. And also a reminder to do your attendance every single day, okay? All right, anyways, this week, so get your quiz turned in by Monday at the latest for full credit. Then we're jumping into uh, our new, our second to last invertebrates phylum, um, arthropods, phylum arthropoda. So after your quiz on Monday, we're just going to watch an Ed Puzzle on marine arthropods. There's tons and tons and tons of arthropods. They make up the most number of species on this planet, um, like more than everything else combined. So we're only spending a couple days on them. So I'm trying to give you the snapshot of what um, are the most important concepts. So we have obviously marine arthropods like crabs and lobsters and barnacles, and then we have terrestrial. So we're going to focus on marine at first. So watch this marine arthropods ed puzzle, then go and do 7.1 CK12. Remember we're reading, doing notes, and then there's that quiz practice thing at the end and make sure you hit turn in. I can't grade it or I can't even see that you have, um, done any quiz points until you hit turn in okay let me know if you're having issues with that then a couple of um mcv coloring pages looking at crustaceans small crustaceans and then decapods they also fall under the crustaceans then we're going to switch gears and talk about terrestrial arthropods so start off with an ed puzzle um and then thursday there's the 7.2 which is on insects aka terrestrial arthropods um, same thing in CK12, and then one more coloring page, some beneficial or harmful insects. And then our quiz on Friday for Phylum Arthropoda is a Ed Puzzle, and it's about 28 minutes long. This is actually an excerpt taken from a documentary from National Geographic. So it's pretty cool. I tried shortening it down as much as possible. So if you do like struggle with internet issues, I would recommend trying to do this first thing in the morning or, you know, doing like a chunk here and a chunk there. So I did this one a little bit different. So you're more than welcome to, um, you know, if you finish early, start this on Thursday or something. But I do want to make sure that you get um, everything turned in before doing this quiz. Okay. Um, and that's it for this week. So I hope you have a great Monday. Hopefully you're watching this on Monday and not like Thursday or something like that. So have a great day. 
um, get some Monday morning motivation for you, get some sunshine, do, you know, take care of yourself, make some coffee or tea or whatever it is, get some exercise and keep plugging along. Um, just a couple weeks of school left. All right, take care. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.